and I don't, I don't want to deal in hyperbole here, Don and Peter, but that home run by Nimmo yesterday, that's about as big a May 12 home run as you could possibly hit. Because if they get swept by the Braves and their offense completely stalls, we're all talking, you know, the, the Sands are running through the hourglass a lot quicker than we thought. They almost got no hit. Um, on Friday, Almost. which would have been unbelievable. Max Fried was amazing. And with two outs in the ninth inning, J.D. Martinez hits a home run. Now in the ninth inning yesterday, you know, it looked like he was hurt on Saturday. Brandon Nimmo hits a two-run home run, a walk-off home run. So they take one out of three. Now they begin uh, um, a four-game set against the Phillies. It's a good litmus test for the Mets. But things have to – Adam Adovino said it best on – the pitching has to be really good, and the hitting has to click for them to win. There are times when those things don't happen, and they look like a really bad team. Yeah, well, they just I, I don't know why they're not hitting. Alonzo's costed himself millions. Millions. And like you said, they were going to get no hit. It wouldn't have been, again, it would have been three pitchers, but still, you would have gotten no hit. And then the home run, which ended up being meaningless in a 4-1 game, but then... The exact opposite, yes. You're, you're on your way to getting swept in, 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 in the worst fashion possible and then staring four games against Philadelphia, who you always struggle against. We talked about how this could be a defining moment in the season, Michael. So if this ends up being the 3-4, and 4-3 four, four and three run where you keep your head above water, it's going to be because of last night. If, if last night doesn't happen, they lose that game 3-2, you could be staring in the face of maybe winning one of those seven games and then maybe burying yourself. Now you feel like you have some hope. And I love the fact they're playing today. Get right back at it and then see what you can do in these next four. Those are, and by the way, did you see Paul Skeens in that first inning? I don't know if you got a chance on Saturday. Throwing 102 miles an hour. Oh, he struck out the God. first two guys, then a walk, then a deep fly ball to center. He had four strong innings, but... That guy's a real deal. I just don't know if he could hold up throwing that fast so often. But uh, they'll just take him as far as they could take him. And, you know, it, it seemed like a playoff atmosphere at PNC. It was unbelievable.